Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's here today, answering a couple of questions. I've had a lot of videos sent over to me lately, and I've had a lot of questions about um, head movement. A lot of people talking about, you know, how do these hitters keep their heads so still? And we've got Soto over here on the left. And we've got Judge over here on the right. And when you watch them swing, you'll notice that there's not a lot of head movement, right? Their head stays really, really still throughout the swing. And so I want to talk a little bit about that because what a lot of people have been saying and commenting is that, you know, the reason why they're able to hit so well is because their head doesn't move. And you hear that a lot, right? Keep your head still so you can see the ball, and great hitters don't move their head. And, and I want to talk a little bit about the, the swing because, for me, and, and does, does not moving your head much allow you to see the ball better? Yeah, p probably, possibly. But I don't, I don't usually say that, you know, great hitters are, you know, they're great because their head doesn't move and they can see the ball. I think that high-level, elite, hitting mechanics, mechanics that you'll see from players that are super successful at the major leagues, what their body is doing and the way that it works causes the head to stay still, and it's the body working properly that is creating a swing that has, you know, creates a really good path, creates some depth in their swing and really good direction, and those things cause the head to stay still. So it's not so much that the head is still and they can see the ball better. I think that the, the again, the mechanics create a path, a barrel path, and bat speed that is optimal, and that is why they're good. And their head stays still, beca stays still because of the way they move their body. Hopefully that makes sense. And I want to show you, I want to go into in a little bit more depth. And I've talked about a lot of this stuff in the past, and we have videos on it. But I want to show you the similarities here between Soto and between Judge. And both of these videos have come from the playoffs. Um, and I want to talk about some of the things that are, are causing the head to stay really, really still. Okay? And the biggest thing for me is that, one, both players, both players are getting back. All right? And by back, I don't just mean that they're just swaying back back this way because if you just sway back I see a lot of players sway back and then they sway forward okay and if you sway back and then sway forward or shift forward too early or really get heavy on your front side well then your head's gonna move a lot right and so again people might say well that's why they're not hitting well because they can't see the ball their heads moving too much I would argue that their body is swaying forward they're shifting forward they're getting into their front leg too early and that is causing that is creating a poor path, it's creating uh, more of a pushy swing, an out in front swing, and that's why they're not hitting well, not because their head isn't still and their eyes aren't as still. Um, so when I say back, I mean I'm, we're trying to get ourselves to get coiled and to get around this back leg right here, right? So when we pick our front foot up, the only thing attaching us to the ground is this foot right here. And when you see both of these hitters, they're getting around this leg. They're trying to get their hips coiled. So you're going to see that's one of the big things we talk about. You're going to see that their hips start to coil, right? And their back pocket, so judge's back pocket, if you just look at this pocket right here. As he lifts his front foot up, you see that that back pocket starts to turn, right? He starts to coil it. It's starting to get turned this way. Watch Soto. Soto's back pocket, right here, facing right towards the camera. As he picks up, you're going to see it start to turn, right there. So it goes from here to there. So this move is getting him coiled, getting him around this leg. The other thing you'll see is, now let's look at the upper body with Judge first. So you see him coiling. And same thing with the upper body. You see the nines? Look at the nines. 
right? So he's one thing is he's pulling back with his upper body, and we've talked about that a bunch in other videos. Rear elbow behind the hands. Elbows working back this way. So it's retracting back behind him. And he's getting everything coiled around that leg right there. Watch Soto's numbers. Same thing. Not as big of a move, but same type of thing. Right here, numbers facing us. You start to see right here, everything gets coiled. You can't see his, his uh, rear arm, but he's pulled back. And so now, hips and shoulders are slightly closed that way. Okay? Now, once we get to that point, this is where, again, let's back up actually a second. So one, there's not a big leap or push forward, right? They're not take, getting all their way back and just jumping forward. They're coiling, and their head is staying relatively still because they're not pushing themselves forward, all right? Now, here's where, now we've coiled. Now you're going to start to see, if we're watching Judge right here, this is going to start to turn that way, right? So here it goes. The only thing connecting him to the ground is that back foot. And you're going to see as the front foot starts to come down, you're going to see his, this leg right here, his right leg is starting to turn right here, right? But when you see that leg turning, you don't just see the upper body going with the leg. You don't see everything just turning or rotating. So you see his leg starting to turn, but you see his first... When you first see his leg starting to go, see how you don't see the nines rotating or turning anywhere? They're not moving anywhere, but his leg is turning. So watch all these clicks right here. Here's his leg going, but the nines still look like they're still slightly still coiling. So you've got this still coiling as this is starting to turn. So that starts to create some of that separation between, again, this leg going like this and then all of this. So your body's being turned into a, to a rubber band, an elastic band. We've talked about that a lot in the past. So you still got that little bit of coil as his leg's starting to turn. And now, the other thing you have is, again, now you don't just see his left shoulder just rip out of there and turn hard to the left or rotate, but you start to see him tilting back. And this is really important. It's going back this way. If he just went forward with his upper body or just turned to the left, you would see his head start to move. But his head doesn't move anywhere. And if anything, if I put a little dot right there in his air flap, his head actually slightly goes backwards. But that's from this is turning like that, and his upper body is going is tilting back. And look at his numbers right here. Like this is the point where if you watch your swing, a lot of players, this turns hard to the left, the right shoulder stays up there, and the back cuts straight across. But look at how the nines, just watch the nines. See how they go from level? Now look at this right here. This nine is getting below this nine because he's tilting back. And then his rear shoulder works under from that tilt. And now you create even more separation. This is going that way, and this is going like that. It's going back. And then the barrel goes back, too. And now you create that rubber band effect. They're going in opposite directions. If everything goes in the same direction, you don't create the rubber band. You don't create the stretch and the swing. Then you'll see, if you're watching a player that does that, you'll see their head move forward. And a lot of people say, well, of course, they can't hit. Look at how much their head's moving forward. Well, again, they're not creating, they're not using their body well, to create bat speed, to create some stretch, to create bat speed, and then to create depth with their swing. Watch Soto. Same thing with Soto. So here, you see a couple clicks here. See his back leg starting to turn? See these clicks? Notice that the twos, the twos are not just ripping out of there. They're actually still coiling. So here's his leg. Turning, turning, turning. The twos have not gone anywhere yet. So he has that slight coil as his leg is going this way. 
Now he starts to tilt back. So his leg continues to turn, and he's tilting back, and the same thing. Notice that the twos aren't level anymore, right, because he's tilting back. He's not keeping, he's not just turning to the right and keeping his left shoulder up, but he's going this way. You create stretch. The head's not going to go forward because you're not shoving forward. Your leg's just turning you. Your upper body's tilting back. Your head's going to stay still. And you get into this position of, people call it back behind the ball, whatever you want to call it. It's back, right? So very little forward movement. And there can be forward movement. Like when you stride, you're going to move forward a bit. But I can't just push from my back leg, push from my back leg during my stride so that I get forward and then my upper body wants to go forward, my head wants to go forward. So hopefully that makes sense. Just wanted to shoot that over. Get a lot of questions when I'm throwing up videos, and I have a lot of people sending me videos, especially this time of year in the playoffs. Um, and the whole head, keeping the head still, I get that a lot. So I wanted to go a little bit more in depth with it. Let me know if you have any questions. Check out our other hitting videos. We've got tons of videos that I've thrown up. If you like Road to the Show, go check out those videos. I've put up about 30 of them so far. Still trying to get to the big leagues. I'll be there soon, hopefully. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you later.